In the fields of energy, the environment, and social infrastructure, JFE Engineering provides a variety of products and services based on the advanced technologies and the power of the group. Through its global engineering system, the company props up people's daily lives, not only in Japan, but also around the world. In addition to the Merlion, Marina Bay Sands is a symbol of Singapore. Sky Park, shaped like a boat joining the top floors of three buildings, is 340 meters in length and 40 meters wide, including the world's longest overhanging structure, which juts out 67 meters. Success in building the huge structure, weighing 8,000 tons, 200 meters in the sky, was made possible thanks to JFE Engineering's bridge building technologies. Members produced at local factories were assembled into blocks above ground and raised in 13 sections using the company's original mega lift method. This unprecedented project in the world to build a steel structure on the top floors of hotel towers was completed in a mere nine months after on-site construction began. The bridge building technologies developed by JFE Engineering have been used to construct numerous vital bridges indispensable for infrastructure throughout Japan and the world. The company's original bridge building technologies have also contributed greatly to the construction of expressway junctions, monorails and new transport systems among others. Other than that, the infrastructure that JFE Engineering is involved in the construction of includes harbor cranes, steam turbines, and structures in a variety of other fields. Among all the environmental problems, treating the huge volumes of waste discarded every day is the most important issue. In Yangon too, the biggest city in Myanmar, the waste produced every day, amounting to around 2,500 tons, had been a major problem. This led JFE Engineering to deploy not only high-efficiency incineration, but also complete a waste-to-energy plant generating 5,200 megawatt-hours per year using the energy from incineration. As an outstanding model case, setting an example for other Southeast Asian countries, JFE Engineering has continued providing support to this project. In Manila, the capital of the Philippines, JFE Engineering has so far constructed around 30 wastewater treatment plants, contributing to the spread of the sewage system in the metropolitan area. In densely populated areas where it is difficult to secure sufficient space, JFE Engineering has succeeded in using original technologies to build high-efficiency wastewater treatment plants on limited land. JFE Engineering contributes greatly to regions and society in a variety of fields. The company's ability to meet demand technological capabilities and power in construction in responding to all situations have one critical acclaim in every field. Nairobi, the hub city of East Africa, is the capital of Kenya. To ensure a stable supply of electricity in this country located on the equator, a shift has been taking place in recent years from hydroelectric power to geothermal power generation. JFE Engineering oversaw the construction of the steam generating equipment and pipe system at Olkaria 2 geothermal power plant. As a source of renewable energy, geothermal power is currently attracting a lot of attention. It emits little CO2 and is not affected by the weather, allowing the stable supply of power. Japan, being one of the biggest volcanic countries in the world, 
JFE Engineering has a long track record of research and achievement in developing geothermal power generating facilities. To realize the sustainable society of the future, JFE Engineering will build on its businesses in a variety of fields, including the renewable energy sources of wind power, solar power, and biomass, as well as LNG and gas engine power generating facilities. Attention has been focusing on the food loss problem and JFE Engineering has launched a project to use waste food as a renewable source of energy in collaboration with the JR East Group. Discarded box lunches and other waste food brought to the plant in Tsurumi Ward of Yokohama City are fermented and the methane gas given off is used as fuel to generate power. Because it does not incinerate the waste, it reduces CO2 emissions and the amount of power generated in a day is enough to supply up to 3,000 general households. JFE Engineering will continue to promote the recycling business in order to make effective use of resources and contribute to the realization of a low-carbon society. JFE Engineering has begun to take on new challenges in preparation for engineering of the future. Technological development has been launched in new fields such as the smart agriculture business and medical business. Effort is also being invested into research and development. An overseas research center was established in Singapore. Next generation waste treatment technologies are being researched at this innovation center. Joint research is being carried out with Nanyang Technological University of Singapore under a system of industry academia collaboration. It began with the shaft type gasifying and direct melting furnace. Gasifying and melting waste without burning it allows it to be turned into slag, metal and other resources. There are high expectations for the full-scale practical application of the technology as a new method of turning ash into a resource, which, until now, required final landfill disposal. In 2018, JFE Engineering opened the Global Remote Center within the Yokohama head office. All remote monitoring, which until now had been carried out at each plant, is now carried out at this center allowing ascertainment of the status of all plants around the clock in real time. Moreover, AI and big data are used to diagnose problems in advance, preventing breakdowns and allowing quick responses. JFE Engineering will continue providing original technologies in a variety of fields to contribute to people's lives and the development of society and industries with the aim of realizing a sustainable society. Mm -hmm.